Hey everyone! So for this week I am reviewing Crayola Super Tips and I remember using these as a kid and I remember loving them a lot <laughs> and whenever I found this 50 pack for like seven dollars at Walmart I could not control myself. <laughs> I like I went from the marker section to the front so fast <laughs> it was insane. Yeah I'm gonna review these today. Um, I'm not really sure how to review them so hopefully this is a somewhat helpful video. Um, as an artist, I love Crayola. I always have. I started out with Crayola, and honestly, even the colored pencils, I would much rather use Crayola colored pencils than my Prismacolors. And I really don't know why that is. For some reason, the Prismacolors are just... I don't know. I don't even know what the issue is. They're not waxy enough for me. They're too soft but Crayola colored pencils are a lot waxier and they layer much nicer anyway. Um, but Crayola actually is a really good brand and I'm not getting paid to say any of this. This is literally my my own opinion over Crayola. I love Crayola. And a lot of people think that, oh it's cheap so it's not very good. Well, <laughs> not true first of all. You know, cheap stuff is great. I mean, literally the only thing that's, this is my artist part of me coming out. But literally the only thing between somebody and a great piece of artwork is their knowledge. Like I have used all Crayola products for one piece and it's one of my favorite pieces I've ever made. And it's probably one of my best too. So just because this is seven dollars does not mean that it can't create you know wonderful lettering or artwork or anything. Like literally cheap anything can make awesome artwork. Rant over. <laughs> Crayola is amazing product. I don't know why people give it such a bad rap. Um, but yeah, these are the ones that I use for my bullet journal on the daily because these are the ones that closely match my Stabilos that I have, my Stabilo 88 pens. The rest of the 50 pack is in here. Now just with the packaging, it's awesome. It has the colors on top, really nice packaging. It has this on both sides, so it doesn't matter which side you come from. And then on the back it has all the colors and it has all the names. Now my only issue <laughs> with this is the fact that on the marker there is no indication of what color this is. Like I'm almost positive this is red but like this is one of the easier ones. For example I have no idea which light blue this is <laughs> at all and whenever I was trying to figure it out uh, which side is it? This side. Whenever I was trying to figure it out, it almost went in a zigzag pattern, which is kind of weird, first of all. Like, why would it go zigzaggy and why wouldn't it just go straight across? Um, and just the fact that this is laid out so differently than how the markers are kind of freaks me out. I don't like not knowing what color I'm using. Um, I don't know if that's just a me issue. I've had a couple other people on Instagram say it was their issue too. Um, like, some of them are obvious. like. In the beginning and the end and if you find like a color that you know has got to be that color it's sort of easy to figure out what color you're going to next <laughs> but like with all these blues it's kind of hard to figure out which one is which considering they all look the same you know what I mean and then even in my swatches like I couldn't tell you what blue was what so, th my only thing about these is I wish there was some sort of marking on here that told me which one was which. Cause like I can't even put my own marker, like my own like piece of tape with a with a name on it or anything. I can't even do that cause I really don't know which one this is. Um, especially in the blues, cause I use a lot of blues and I use a lot of greens. And even the oranges are so similar, I can't tell which one is which. So. That's, can you tell that's my main thing? I really don't like no, not knowing what color I'm using. Anyway, so, I mean the colors are brilliant. They're amazing and they blend. I haven't really tried blending them, but they color pretty smooth. Like there's not much streaking going on. Um, they almost work like Copics in a way. Like if, with Copics, if you just keep the edge wet, 
of the area you're coloring in, then it'll stay pretty, like, smooth. Um, but obviously, like, if you color it and then let it dry and then color back over, it's gonna streak. But yeah, I've noticed that there's not much streaking. I mean, overall, they're very, very good markers. And, uh, pretty much what I'm gonna be looking at them for is just their use in bullet journaling and then, uh, just lettering in general, because I know that's what most of you are here for. Um, I know for art, they're probably... They're probably pretty good for art, like you could probably make them work, um, but for my time log they work great because um, they don't streak at all, it's nice and smooth. Uh, same with my habit tracker. And for some reason the purple is turning up blue on my camera, but that's the camera's fault. The colors are great in real life. Again, nice and smooth coverage. Really awesome. They can get super thick or super thin, which is really awesome too. Um, so the tips are pointed like this and you know you can either color it on the side like this or straight up and down and you can get super thin or super thick with whatever your preference is. Um, let's see. In my memories I have a lot of both. I have thick and thin and that was all using except for this one and the black one. Everything else was with um, the Crayola Super Tips and the heading. Like, that's not with it, but um, yeah, super awesome. This lettering was with Super Tips. I just used my hand pressure and changed that. It's really awesome. These are all just one swipe. So again, you can get either the highlighter effect, you can get super detailed, you can get super... I also colored this in with the pink ones. Um, you can get super detailed, super broad, like literally whatever you want to do you can get with these markers. So I've already showed you swatches of the colors so I guess I don't really need to do that because that's pretty high quality paper and it doesn't bleed through in bullet journals at all. Like at all. It's awesome. But I will show you on just regular graph paper. I mean it probably it doesn't even leak through very much on here like on this sheet. Uh, I have some written and you can't really even see it. Um, so even though they are probably water-based markers because they're washable, they would have to be if they're water washable markers. Anyway. Yeah, I'm just going to demo some hand lettering because I know with bullet journaling a lot of people either use it to color in things or for lettering. And these, once the tips are sort of softened up, like worked in or you know broken in a little bit, they really write really well and it's really fun. So I'm going to go ahead and demo some of that and I will be right back. So yeah, these markers are awesome. <laughs> um, a lot of mine still are pretty stiff, so I was having a little bit of issues like with thickness, but you can see they can get super thin, super thick. Um, my purple is pretty good at getting that without having to go back over. This one I did thin and thick, and if you were paying attention, I did thick and thin letters first, and then I added it in. And there's really no like streaking or anything 
whenever I added it back in, so that's really nice because with hand lettering, I think everyone wants wants it to look like they did it in one foul swoop. Um, I've used these for Happy Mail, I've used these in my junk journal, I've used these in so many places and I haven't had them for even a month yet, so I really would recommend these if you don't like the fact that you know the colors don't match to the markers, which kind of irks me a little bit. Um, you know, these, these are the markers for you whether you like that or not. I mean, these are really awesome markers. Um, are they high end? No, but you know, they're good for, you know, crafting and doing fun stuff like this. I use these in, like I said, Happy Mail all the time. Um, I actually use them for my business um, with, you know, writing headers and names on things and place cards and stuff. So these are super awesome. I would really recommend them to anybody. They have a, I think a 12 pack for like three or four dollars and this one was seven. And I believe at Walmart there's like a cube and it has like a hundred of them or so in it. And I think that one is 14. I think, if I'm remembering right. So, there are lots of options. Um, obviously I think depending on where you go they're gonna be priced differently. Um, so yeah, just a simple little video, but I really wanted to make a video with these markers. It gave me a reason to show them off and show what they can do. <laughs> and it gave me a reason to rant a little bit that Crayola is a really good brand. And anyone who doesn't think so doesn't have to use them more for me. <laughs> That's just this week's video. I know it's like really simple and not really like bullet journal related, but it kind of is. And I just thought it would be fun to do a product review. And if you guys liked this product review, I can do more. P press the like button if you did, because it lets me know what videos you like. Um, subscribe for more videos. I do bullet journaling, this kind of stuff. Um, junk journaling now I do, and I'm sure I'll get into happy mail sooner or later. Next to the subscribe button is a little bell, and you can click that, and it'll activate notifications, so every time I upload, usually, which is usually on Fridays. I've been trying to do it every Friday, <laughs> every Friday like of the week, so usually you can expect them on Fridays, but if I forget, like I'm not on like a strict schedule, it's literally just whenever I have time, because I am a full-time student, I do have two jobs, so yay me. Comment down below what you think of these Crayola markers, I think they're awesome. I think Crayola in general is just amazing, if you couldn't figure that out from this video. Um, and let me know what kind of videos you guys want to watch, because I'm starting to run out of ideas. <laughs> I mean, there's only so much you can do with bullet journaling, but at the same time, there's a plethora of what you can do with it. And I guess I'm just kind of running out of ideas. So if there's a specific thing you guys want to see, comment down below and tell me, because I would really love to know. Because <laughs> I want to make videos you guys enjoy, I want to make videos that I'll also enjoy making. So let me know, and maybe I'll make it. So. That's all I got, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye!